For more on the FF Plus manifesto launch in Pretoria, let's cross to our reporter, Kenny Mapanga. Kenny, a very good morning to you. What is some of the main issues that we expect the FF Plus to focus on in their manifesto today? Well, good morning to you, Lewa. Once again, we're starting to see a little bit more activity here at the Heartfelt Arena in the nation's capital as we draw closer and closer to uh, Dr. Kronewald's manifesto, where they hope to sustain this growth trajectory and attract more voters to the Freedom From Plus. But what exactly can we expect that will be different from Freedom From Plus as they present this manifesto? Well, to help us unpack this question, we're joined now by the Head of Elections for Freedom from Plus, Mr. Voter Vessels, uh, this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, many wondering what the Freedom from Plus will be uh, presenting to the nation. If you could highlight three points uh, to speak to the challenges in South Africa that we can expect to hear later today, what can citizens hope to hear? Well, what I can firstly say is that they will not hear empty promises. They will not hear promises of two million job opportunities, for instance, because that is just an empty promise and rhetoric. What we will say and what we will present today is a building plan. Our manifesto provides solutions, practical solutions to the crises facing South Africans and a real plan to get a better dispensation going so that there's equal opportunities for all South Africans and so that we can start rebuilding this country and have true equality in this country as well. Well, many are wondering what those practical solutions may mean. Uh, if we're talking of the high levels of unemployment, especially among the youth, how is Freedom Front Plus looking to solve that? Well, at the end of the day, we don't only need a better government. We need better policies because the current government's policies are the reason for unemployment and the fact that our economy is not growing. We need economic growth to get job opportunities going. And uh, that is where our plan creates a conducive environment for the private sector to create those opportunities. Currently, government is making it impossible for private businesses to really create employment. Cost of living is getting so high and government is not really doing anything because their policies do not allow it. And we create, uh, we, our plan is to create an environment where it's conducive to get the economy going, get job opportunities there um, with true empowerment, better education and so forth, but that it will all be revealed uh, by the leader later today in the manifesto. And lastly, um, we've been watching Freedom From Plus in the by-elections as well as the 2019 general elections. Some may feel that although there is a growth trajectory, um, it is the uh, voter share of another political party, that is the DA. Now, when we're speaking of this coalition that is the multi-party charter that is trying to unseat the governing party, if uh, the two are re uh, sharing voters, if we should say that, or recycling voters rather, how do you reconcile that ambition with that uh, trend that we're seeing with the by-elections? What we saw in 2019 already is that a lot of people that voted for us, our gain in support was from people that never voted before. And we believe that that trend will continue. It doesn't happen, you're quite correct, to just rearrange the, the chairs on the Titanic deck by sharing votes. We need to encourage people that do not go and vote to go and vote, to use their democratic power, which a lot of people fought very hard for, and to make the change that they deserve by voting. And we believe that we are a party that are, that's gaining a support in a lot of new communities in the Western Cape, in Limpopo, across the country, in all nine provinces. We see our membership figures increasing. You know, today, we will also, our manifesto will be available, the call um, points thereof, in all 11 official languages. Show me another party whose manifesto is available in all 11 official languages, and in Braille, and we'll have a sign language interpreter as well. So we are a party that does not only talk, but we really provide solutions and we also promote diversity in South Africa. And just quickly, uh, Mr. Vessels, just for our Afrikaans uh, viewers as well, what could they quickly expect? Well, the layers of the day, a plan, 
bekend stel wat werkelijk dit moeilijk maak om Zuid-Afrika te herbou. Ons het verandering nodig, maar ons het een beter bedeling nodig, waar daar werkelijke gelijke geleentede vir allemaal is, en ons geloof dat ons nie net beloftes maak nie, maar dat ons praktische oplossings bied, wat werkelijk een beter toekomst daar sal stel. All right, thank you very much. That was the head of the elections for the Freedom Front Plus, just laying out the foundation for the party's plans ahead of the pivotal 2024 elections. As you can hear, Lebo, there's quite a lot of activity behind me as uh, some supporters have started trickling in. Uh, we expect that that program uh, will start at 10 a.m. And I understand that my colleague uh, Sakina Kamwenda at 9 a.m. will give you that exclusive view of the inside of the arena where the, Dr. Khunavald rather will present that rescue for South Africa.